Hey guys, how's it going? Um, in this video I will show you the Pharaoh Shuffle. I remember when I first got interested in cards, this move really fascinated me. I just thought it was such a cool way to shuffle a deck of cards. Basically you take two, two packets and you're pushing them against each other in a way so that it creates a weave. Okay, so it just happened right there. This is also called a perfect shuffle because as you can see, uh, there's no block of two cards. Every card is separated, if that makes sense. The, the cards are perfectly inter intertwined, is that the word? Um, in interlaced. And this has uh, quite a few applications. Uh, there's, there's two kinds of pharaoh shuffles. There's an out pharaoh shuffle and there's an in pharaoh shuffle. Uh, basically, the difference between those is in an out in an out pharaoh shuffle, the top and bottom cards of the deck will stay the same before and after the shuffle, and in an in pharaoh shuffle, those two cards will change. So I'm going to focus on the out pharaoh shuffle because that's the most common. So the first step to doing the shuffle is oh, actually one interesting thing I should tell you about is if you do eight uh, out pharaoh shuffles in a row the deck will end up in the order that it was in before the first shuffle. And it's not something I would ever use, but it is kind of an interesting thing. Uh, so, so to do the, the, the shuffle, start with the deck in kind of an elevated left-hand grip. I have my two fingers on the right-hand side, first finger here, thumb here, and I use my pinky. Uh, it kind of just rests on the bottom right there. My right hand comes over a lot like it would in a Hindu shuffle. It breaks off uh, the cards in this way. So thumb on the left side, two fingers on the right side, and my first finger on top. Now what you need to do is cut off exactly 26 cards. This isn't exactly easy, but it's probably not as hard as you would think. The secret to doing that is comparison. So once you break off what you think is 26, you need to compare the thickness of the two piles and if they look the same width or the same thickness it's it, it's more likely going to be the 26 cards if it doesn't then you need to either add or remove a card from the packet so in this case I think I cut it 26 now the next thing you need to do is square up the edges very nicely and I just do that by tapping them against each other once they're square I align them right next to each other like this only the corners so this corner and this corner. I line it next to each other, and then I kind of push them against each other. Okay, and you'll see that a weave started. When you apply pressure against each other, you know, it'll start to weave like that. And then you maintain that pressure, and then the weave will complete itself. Okay. So, basically, if you start the weave properly, the rest of the weave should be super simple. It's just the start of the pharaoh shuffle that gives people trouble. Um, one piece of advice I can give you is, you know, well, first of all, make sure that the cards are very nicely squared. That will definitely help a lot. Um, but I guess I, I could kind of explain how I'm applying a pressure. Uh, this is going to be a greatly exaggerated motion, but here's what's happening. I'm aligning the cards. I'm kind of going up. I'm kind of, I'm pushing them against each other, and then kind of going up like this, and that helps form the weave for me. And I maintain that position, and the weave will automatically complete itself. Okay. So actually, at first, I wouldn't worry about getting a perfect pharaoh shuffle. Just practice weaving the cards. Okay. So push against each other, then go up, kind of like I was saying. One other thing that helps is. Once the cards have initially interlaced, what you can do is kind of shift the cards back and forth like this, kind of grind them against each other, and that will help the weave continue to form. Okay. So I would uh, experiment with that, just see uh, what kind of pressure you need to apply to, to get that good weave, and one, if you keep practicing it, you will be able to do a perfect pharaoh shuffle. Okay, hope that I hope that helps. Bye.